Hello everyone. Uh, so in the last two modules, we have given an introduction to game theory and mechanism design. So from this lecture onwards, we will essentially try uh, to look at the uh, the theory, the game theory part in detail, and we'll develop some of the the definitions that we have uh, done earlier uh, a little informally. We'll make those things more formal. Now, as we said uh, last time, game theory is an analytical approach for predicting reasonable outcome in a game, which is a strategic interaction between multiple uh, players. Uh, and there were several terms. Uh, the, the building blocks were the, the set of players or agents. Uh, these players had their strategies and also they had certain utilities uh, or payoffs. Now, we also made a distinction last time, uh, a little informally about between the terms action and strategy. We'll also make that a little more formal this time. However, in all these cases, we are going to assume that these players are going to be rational and intelligent and uh, something that we have already told in the, in the previous lecture. So the best way to start uh, discussing about it is to uh, look at a, a very specific example. And we are going to illustrate these ideas uh, of all the terms that has been used using the game of chess. And this is um, a result due to von Neumann and Oscar Morgenstern, one of the founding uh, figures in, in the area of game theory. So I believe all of you know what a game of chess is. Uh, you might have played or you have seen it playing. Uh, so there are two types of uh, players. Uh, one is a, uh, one player plays with the white pieces and the other player uh, plays with the black pieces. And we are just going to uh, use the same term, white player and the black player to mean that which kind of um, uh, pieces they are playing with and each of this uh, there are 16 pieces for each of these players now every piece has a certain legal move so for instance the uh, the queen has a very specific uh, set of moves that it can do the horse has a uh, or horse the, or the knight has a, a very specific move uh, and so on now uh, this uh, moves we are going to call as actions at every point in time every uh, position of the species on this board, on the chess board, uh, they can take a very specific action and that is what we are going to call uh, by this term action. And this is the same uh, type of action that we have discussed in the previous example uh, of uh, neighboring kingdoms dilemma. Now um, the game of chess starts with the white player and then player takes turns and um, it can end only in three different situations. Either it can be a win for the white player, uh, if the white player uh, captures the, uh, the, the black king, or it can be a black win, in which case the black player uh, captures the white king, or it can be a draw. And draw in, uh, in chess can happen in various ways. Uh, you can see a complete listing uh, in the official uh, chess uh, games page. Uh, but uh, to I mean here we are making things a little more informal uh, the nobody has a legal move but the kings are not in a check both players agree to a draw or the bo board position is such that nobody can win and there are many more so all those things we are going to call as draw where neither uh, white wins or black wins now what can happen in this kind of a situation as a as a game theoretic point of view we are going to ask uh, uh, the following questions and the, all these questions are quite interesting to us. Um, so does the white player have a winning strategy? So what is a winning strategy? Uh, a plan of actions, uh, a sequence of actions such that it wins irrespective of the moves of B. So this is very important that um, uh, whether player uh, W wins no matter whatever the action has been picked by B. Uh, then we are going to call it a winning strategy for the white player. Similarly, you can uh, define the, the black player's winning strategy. And the question is, does uh, black has a, have a winning strategy? Or uh, do they have a strategy where they can at least guarantee a draw? Yeah, maybe the, none of them win, but at least they can guarantee a draw. Um, you can contrast this with smaller games, smaller uh, such kind of sequential games like tic-tac-toe where you know that how you can ensure a draw. Maybe you, you might not win, you might not uh, ensure a, 
a winning strategy, but uh, you can at least get a clear draw. Now, I would like to emphasize that there is a difference between uh, a winning strategy, so um, uh, something uh, apart from, from these three outcomes, there are some other outcomes also can happen. Maybe none of this is true. So, um, uh, white might not have a winning strategy, uh, B might not have a winning strategy, and they might not even have a, a strategy to guarantee a draw. Now, initially, it might be a little puzzling how this can happen. Uh, and I want to uh, focus on the fact that uh, uh, having a winning strategy does not change the outcome of the game. The outcome of the game will still be either a win for white or a win for B or a draw for uh, each of them. But what a winning strategy is saying is that you can ensure that no matter whatever the other player is playing. right? So this is much more uh, restrictive than just having an outcome. So that is what is being captured by the fourth condition, that is uh, fourth possibility, that n neither of these uh, three things might be possible. Now, uh, this brings us to, the, uh, to a more formal definition of what a strategy is. So strategy, um, we have uh, earlier uh, uh, said that it is a mapping from the game situation or maybe the state of the game to, uh, uh, to the action. So it's a mapping. Whenever you are giving a specific game situation or um, a state of the game, it is going to give you uh, pop out one action. And this is what is a, um, uh, a strategy is. It's a complete contingency plan which tells you whenever you are in this particular uh, uh, state of this game, you are going to take this action. Right? That is uh, uh, that is a strategy. So in the context of chess, let us look at what, what these things are. So I'm just going to uh, uh, distinguish two terminologies. One is a board position. Uh, if you just take a snapshot, uh, suppose the, uh, the game of chess is being played, you're just taking a picture, you're taking a, a snapshot of that, an unfinished game, then that is the thing that you get is a board position. While game situation is something like tracing the history. So you, when you take the snapshot, you just get that snapshot. You uh, do not have any information how you actually reach that uh, state. There might be multiple ways how you can play, uh, multiple histories which will also lead to the same board position, but uh, they will all have a different game situation. Game situation is essentially the history. Okay, so let's let's make it a little more formal with our notation. So we, will, we are going to denote a board position by this uh, uh, by this notation xk. So maybe after k stages, uh, you have uh, reached this particular uh, board position, uh, which is nothing but a snapshot. Uh, the positions of of each of these um, uh, pieces, uh, which has not been eliminated on this board, and that is going to be a board position. And game situation, therefore, is the sequence of uh, this uh, board position starting from the initial. So x0 is the first board, board position, which, which is always the same in, uh, in this case. Um, but then, uh, based on whichever action has been chosen by each of these players, first uh, white chooses an action and it goes to a uh, uh, board position x1. Then black chooses another action. Uh, which leads to the board position of x2 and so on. Finally, if k is, uh, if k is even, then you know that um, uh, then it's the, it's the turn for uh, white to play. And if it is odd, then you know it's a, uh, it's a uh, action. The next action will be taken by b, the black player. So uh, to uh, represent this pictorially, you can uh, think of this as a, as a tree and we are also going to call this a game tree. So different uh, board positions are just the nodes of, of this tree. And you can uh, you can imagine that there might be, so because the, uh, the same board position can be obtained in, in multiple ways, uh, there could be repetitions of nodes in this, uh, in this um, uh, game tree. So X0 is the initial board position. And uh, because of the uh, because of the rules or uh, the norms of uh, uh, chess, the first move will be made by the white player. So suppose so this this uh, different uh, ages are showing what are the feasible moves that uh, white can give uh, in the initial board position, 
and uh, if uh, and this uh, uh, this tree is showing that if uh, quiet player is picking this particular uh, action then it will lead to this uh, board position which is x1 similarly after that uh, suppose uh, player b uh, makes this move uh, suppose it makes this move then it will it will go to the next uh, board position which is let's say x2 and as we said there could be some other places uh, for instance x2 might uh, also appear uh, somewhere else in this game tree uh, in a different way uh, different sequence of actions uh, they might end up having the same uh, board position but the game situation will be different because that, uh, that will actually trace the whole path uh, starting from the root to that node so in this context so when the uh, the board position is x2 uh, this particular x2 has been reached by by this particular uh, history by this particular game situation x0 x1 to x2 uh, that is the game situation while there might be some other x2 uh, there might be some other node which also has the same board position but that might have been traced by a different game situation so uh, now let us look at what strategy is so strategy is the mapping from the game situation so because game situation itself is telling us uh, the entire game history to, to a specific action so if a, a specific uh, uh, game situation has been uh, reached which is a node which is a unique node in this game tree because every node uh, in this game tree is a unique game situation um, the strategy will map that to an action so if the if this particular game situation has been uh, reached what will be the action of the player that is going to play here that is that is going to be the strategy um, and uh, maybe you, you can you can think of um, uh, this as a complete contingency plan for each of these players uh, you might want you might be wondering that uh, how does it matter how does it uh, differ in any way if I actually end up in a specific uh, board position uh, why should my strategy uh, not be the same uh, the answer is yes for, for games like chess it, it might be easier to look at just the um, um, board position and not the game situation but uh, this is a more general description because there could be certain games so for instance games of card where you cannot really observe each of the actions that has been played by uh, each of the player because you are in an in an uncertain situation you might uh, take a look at your own cards you might also uh, see the cards that uh, has been played so far but you cannot see the other uh, players hands so there is always an uncertainty so uh, based on what actions you have already seen you might uh, you might wonder that if this player has played this many things you might infer that this might not be possible and therefore the entire history of the game is important to make you uh, make a action choice of action and that is where uh, this uh, game situation uh, the strategy depending on the game situation becomes more important and uh, not just the the current state of the game therefore we are going to uh, consider the uh, the mapping from this game situation to the set of actions um, a strategy for this white player uh, we are going to denote that as a function uh, is w uh, that associates every game situation x0 to xk uh, which uh, sometimes also called the history of the game um, and if it is uh, if the k is even with a board position xk plus 1 such that this move xk plus 1 to xk uh, xk to xk uh, plus 1 is a single valid move of uh, of the uh, white player so if you want to uh, write this out so a sub w takes as input a specific uh, uh, history so let's say x0 to xk this is the history of the game situation and it uh, just pops out one action uh, which takes this xk to xk plus one. So this is the meaning of the of the strategy. Okay. So and similarly, you can define a, a, a very similar function for the uh, for the strategy of player B. Now, once you have uh, decided what is the SW, so SW is giving you a mapping from each um, uh, history 
uh, to a specific action uh, which is feasible uh, for that player. Uh, once you have uh, uh, picked a, a pair of uh, uh, a strategy pair like SW and SB, yeah, you are you are certain that it uh, you can reach an outcome because it gives you so uh, what player white player will do is already being given by SW at every stage of the game. Uh, similarly, what player black will do is given by SB at every stage of the game. So the moment you have uh, you are uh, giving this SW and SB. Uh, it, it will give you one path uh, through this uh, game tree and it will end, an, uh, end at an outcome. Now this uh, outcome is also sometimes called the one play of the game. So you are uh, going via this game tree. So game tree is enumerating all possible paths in this game. Uh, but uh, uh, once you have chosen your SW and SP, you are going to trace out one particular path through this game tree and will end up in a leaf node which is just the end of that game. Now the question uh, that might be interesting in this case, because this is a finite game, uh, where does it end? Does it end in a um, uh, in a win for white and win or win for black or uh, in a draw? That is uh, that should be an interesting question to ask. And yeah, can a, a particular player guarantee outcome? So, for instance, uh, can the white player say that I have a strategy through which, no matter whatever the player, the other player is playing, I'm always going to win? Can they ensure uh, such kind of stuff? Now, uh, I just want to remind again uh, that the, the game ends only in three possible outcomes. So, all the leaf nodes uh, in this finite game tree. Uh, will have one of these three uh, uh, possibilities either white wins or the black wins or it ends in a draw now winning strategy so because we are making it formal the winning strategy for w is a specific strategy let's say sw star such that for every sb so this and uh, uh, mind this word for every sb uh, this uh, uh, this uh, act the strategy profile SW star comma SB ends in a win for the white player. This is what we mean by a winning strategy. Uh, and if you want to uh, consider a, a strategy which guarantees at least a draw for a uh, white player, uh, then that is going to be defined as SW prime such that for every SB, again for every SB, no matter whatever the other player is playing, SW prime comma SB either ends in a draw or a win for I mean, both of these two things can happen uh, based on what SB you have chosen. So it, it may be possible that uh, uh, the strategy that you have chosen uh, might end up in a draw if uh, the other player chooses a very specific SB, uh, which is very competitive. But if it is uh, if it is a foolish strategy for by player B, then in the same strategy you might end up in a win. Uh, yeah. So, but analogous definition you can you can also do for player B winning strategy for player B or uh, draw guaranteeing strategy for player B. Now it's not obvious as we have discussed that uh, such strategies exist. Um, whether uh, there exists some, some kind of a thing, um, we do not know. So uh, there comes the, uh, the one of the uh, most classic results, one of the very early results uh, due to von Neumann in 1928. Uh, it says that in chess, it essentially demystifies this question, question that, that I have just asked. One and only one of the following statement is true. And what are these statements? Either W has a winning strategy or black has a winning strategy or each player has a strategy guaranteeing at least a draw. So it says that uh, one of these three things are possible uh, and exactly one of these three things is possible. And that fourth option that we have just said uh, in, the, in the beginning that uh, maybe uh, none of this is true is not true so exactly one of these things will be uh, will be possible now uh, what it does not say is that what uh, which are one of these three is true right so uh, there is a slight amount of uh, um, open uh, uh, open space still it does not say which of one of these three things is true and also it does not say which that strategy is it just says that it has a winning strategy uh, or it uh, black has a winning strategy but it does not say which one uh, which strategy is that so that uh, if that was known 
uh, for instance if you look at very uh, simple games like tic-tac-toe you exactly know that uh, this uh, uh, third thing is true in fact you can uh, argue in a very similar way for the for the game of tic-tac-toe and uh, you can show that there exists a uh, draw guaranteeing strategy by both players and you exactly know what that draw guaranteeing strategy is that is just because the game of tic-tac-toe is not very large if you uh, exhaustively list down the uh, the uh, game tree that will not be very large and uh, if we knew what would have been a uh, which one of these three things is true and if you if we knew what is that strategy uh, then chase would have been as boring game as, as a tic-tac-toe.